JD, I, I wanted to talk to you about uh, this video that I saw about our guy Rasheed Rice um, that uh, kind of broke uh, broke the news yesterday on uh, on Instagram of him doing work uh, in the offseason. It's something you and I have talked about, you know, like kind of keeping this, keep your head down, just kind of lock in and just hone in on your craft. And he's been working out with a renowned receiver coach, um, uh, Delfonte Diamond, who works with C.D. Lamb. Um, Robert Woods is also another guy he's worked with. Uh, Tank Dell. So he's working. He's working with a, a premier a guy in Dallas, uh, in Delvante uh, Diamond. Uh, but this is the video we're gonna watch it and I uh, want to see what you guys say about uh, Rasheed Rice kind of honing in on uh, the second half of the off season here. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh-huh, smooth. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it. Yep. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, I like that one, boy. I like that one. Bust the memory, baby. This shit getting slight. Couldn't wait to get back out here. <laughs> so, JD, uh, I, the thing I love about that video, obviously, he's working. He's doing He's doing his thing. He's, look, he's looking more polished uh, than he did last year at this time. But, you know, talk about the last clip there. He says, um, I'm, I, could, I couldn't wait to get back out here. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, you know, sometimes people go to the weight room to, you know, to, to release their stresses or whatever. Some guys go to the football field, you know, catch balls, do work to kind of like hone in on wh whatever it is to get your mind off other stuff. And it sure. seems like that that's what he's doing post, you know, what he, what that whole, the, the whole, um, the, 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 the driving accident, the speeding accident he had a few, a uh, few months back. So what do you make of, uh, you know, Kim, him honing in and also being with other guys like C.D. Lamb, like Tank Dell, like Robert Woods? What do you make of all that? Uh, you know what? I think that's very important, uh, especially with the things he's gone through. This this is something that he could definitely focus on. Uh, just give, like I said, some normalcy. Like, you know, a lot of it because his, his, his life has been in turmoil for the past few months, right? One thing after another, and it's like he's not going to be able to get a break. And I believe that his solace lies on the football field, catching, you know, catching balls, working out, all those different things. And like you said, man, those things are very therapeutic. Uh, it, it is a distraction and much needed distraction. But also, too, it's a great focus for him to appreciate something that he can see in his mind that can necessarily be gone. And I think, if anything, hopefully he understands how much of a privilege it is to be able to play in the NFL. Like every, everybody doesn't get that type of opportunity to do what he's able to do and get paid for it and get paid well for what he's been able to do. He's had some very, uh, uh, you know, success early, right? And so, you know, Super Bowl winner, you know, uh, leads the team, you know, wide receiver in, in receptions. Uh, you know, he he's almost a budding star, if you will, right? Uh, and now, because of the things that he's been going through, everything was topsy-turvy. It's topsy-turvy for him. So I, I do think he, for him, this is his, his sweet spot. He loves being here. This is his happy place, right? And so, you know, how do you do the happy Gilmore? Like, you know, he's just like, find your happy place. Mm -hmm. This is a happy place for him. Uh, and it, it, it's, it's perfect because not only he's out there training, but you said also to C.D. Lamb and all these other guys out there training as well. Uh, but he can get a lot of information from those guys too. Uh, hopefully these guys are trying to keep him on the path. Like, hey man, look, you look, you you too much of a star. Uh, 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 someone with your 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 career being derailed the way that it is, you, you got too much, man. That you got you could lose. So you know, don't do anything stupid. Come out here, keep working on us, man. Like you said, down here in the corner, keep grinding. It's a grind thing right here. Uh, and so as long as he's concentrating on those things and putting his time and his effort uh, in, into that. Of getting better, uh, that's what I want to be able to see more so anything else. So what, what I also love is because you you and I have talked about we you know bringing in a veteran receiver and there's a question here about veterans receivers. We'll, we'll get to that. But like if you're not if we're not going to have veteran receivers on the team, at least he's going to be working out with these types of guys in the off season, right? So at least he's working out with you know uh, CD Lamb, who Robert Woods, both those guys have you know have been around for a while. At least Robert Woods has been around for a while. CD mm -hmm. Lamb, you know, he's been a fixture of the Dallas Cowboys for a long time. So you know he's been in the spotlight, you know, and now he's you know he's been in the league for a, a good amount of time. And also too, he's working out with Keon Coleman, Xavier Leggett. So all these guys, you got old and young guys who are there together. And I mm -hmm. think that I think that that's just, that, that's a good thing just to be around that atmosphere with guys who are working their butts off guys who are, are working to keep, be on the top of their game still. And I think that's just a, you know, it's like, oh, you said it's like a solace to be there. 
Yeah. So, yeah, now, I mean, that's legit guys. So, like you said, old and young. Uh, and that's a lot of wealth. That's a wealth of knowledge being passed along. Uh, but also, too, he could, he could, you could compare yourself to other guys with all they're doing and how they're working. Uh, and so the whole thing is like, hey, man, when you're sleeping, other guys out here working. Okay. So, what, what it is that you're doing with your time? My thing is, uh, th- this is where he needs to be. He needs to be there, uh, you know, away from the facility, uh, away from the Chiefs, uh, constantly have his mind on being a professional, taking care of all this business you need to take care of. Uh, and so sometimes these things, man, you can get caught up in the glitz and the glamour sometimes because, and, and here, here's the reality. You can get so much success so fast, okay, that you don't know what to do with it. Sometimes you don't know what to handle. And so it's just like, hey, I'm going to keep, you know, doing what I'm doing and, and I'm, I'm going to keep going around like I'm, I'm, you know, the same guy and you're not. Things have changed. Dramatically, they've changed. So, now this this is no doubt about it. Something about appreciation. About times that he's still plenty young enough to put this mess in the review. No question about it. And I think sometimes when you see things that that you love that can be gone, right? Uh, whether it be a job, your profession, shoot, people, right? We talking about Memorial Day. Things in your life, you 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 tend to try to at least take some type of an assessment, some stock on. How much these things mean to you, okay? And maybe you have to rethink what you've been thinking about, how you've been looking at everybody or your your, your job. You could be fussing about it. Next thing you know, you're not appreciated the way you should. And so that's a very meaningful thing uh, for him to do. And, I, and I'll, I'll tell you this, I, and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll give you a little bit some of my history. When I was in Philly, um, when you first get in, you don't quite know what the business is about. You, you just don't. You don't really know what you're getting into. People could tell you what you're getting into, but you got to actually experience and live it to to actually know. And so uh, he he's done that. I didn't really. I want to say I took maybe my my time up in Philly for granted as well. Not that I didn't work hard. Not that I had my my mind on it. But I seen where the where the grind was, and I seen how bad like the business part of it of like how you had to be a professional, how things have changed from college to, to the NFL. And I was in that position almost losing it all. So, uh, and it was almost until it was taken away from me that I had to appreciate it. And I was just like, man, God, if I get another chance and a shot at, at this, I will not take not one snap, not one practice, not one rep for granted. I'm going to give the game everything that I got. That's what I'm going to do. And so sometimes it takes experiences like this. Sometimes it takes something detrimental in your life uh, to flash before your eyes that everything is gone. And so it, it's, it, it happened to me. Rasheed Rice happened to him. And I think he has a newfound appreciation for his, his profession. Okay. And the people around him as well. So that's, that's a good thing to have, man. You, you got to have that. You have to have it. Sometimes People got to go through these lessons. It's part of life. Part of life. Sometimes you need to scare, you know, to, to show what you have. And it's like, okay, like, you know, I, I need to reassess what, what I'm doing here, you know, and, you, and you're getting this kind of like, you know, you got to this traffic racing accident. No one died. Um, yeah. To my knowledge, I don't know if anyone was seriously hurt, but people were taken to the hospital. So it's like, man, like you, in your mind, I, I've had, I've had, I had a, one time I was speeding in, in when I was in high school, I was speeding and I turned the corner real fast and there's somebody walking their dog. And like by by miracle of, of God, I I just I, I trust steering with the road. I was like, oh shoot, like I almost ran that person over. And like in my head, I'm like, for weeks after that, even sometimes I still think about like, man, what would happen if that person was there? I would run, run over someone's dog, like mm-hmm. going to jail, like you know things like that. And it's like you need those like kind of the close moments to be like, okay, you're not going to speed in the neighborhood. You're not you're gonna you're gonna go the speed limit. But you need kind of that little wake and that snap. Um, and yeah. you know, hopefully this is it for him. And um. I mean, he's, he's looking great. I mean, based on what you saw from there, he's looking like polished, right? He does. He, he, he looks he looks good. Now, and I think, you know, he got a lot of experience last year of things, how he can get better, what he can do to get open. Uh, maybe his quickness and suddenness coming, you know, into a route, which I think he was learning he was getting down to. Because when he got the ball in his hand, we seen how explosive he was. I was actually shocked how fast he gets up the field once he gets the football. 
I was amazed at that. I, I I didn't really know he had that about him. Uh, you know, sometimes in college you don't really get to see it, you know, because uh, you know, you got some guys, you know, like I said, I always, you know, <laughs> uh, they're going on for different things, okay? Right. <laughs> so uh you don't have to worry about that. But these guys in the NFL, these guys are trying to rip your head off. And so he showed getting the ball, get up the field, make some people miss, breaking some tackles. Uh also, too, he had to hold on to the football. He started getting better at toward the end of the season, holding on to the ball, because it was that was really another thing that he was, you know, he was really bad at. You know, he, he fumbled every, you know, and I was just like, hey, he's fumbled a little bit too much. So, uh, no, nah, man, it, this no, nah, this is good for him. He uh, he's learning. He's learning. This is, yeah. And, and then last night at the Dallas Mavericks game sideline uh, court side was Hollywood next to Kelsey and Mahomes. And then behind the hoop, because I, I looked on Rasheed Rice's uh, his Instagram story, behind the hoop, um, Rasheed Rice was like second row back there. I don't know why he didn't, wasn't able to get courtside with, with, with the fellas, with uh, Kelsey Mahomes and uh, Hollywood, but he was at the game, like second row behind the, the hoop. So they yeah. definitely they definitely probably came together at least. Yeah, sometimes you get you got to pay for those tickets. Right? <laughs> yeah. Rice, he's he's got some he's got to shell out some money other places right now. It's true. Okay, so you don't want to be <laughs> hey. What he had to pad, he might have to be up in the rafters somewhere, you know, standing up, clapping from the <laughs> from yeah. the second floor. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm I'm sure, you know, those, those court side seats, you know, when you're talking about here, right? Shoot, them, I know they hitting for a grip. Playoff game too. Oof. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> shoot, front and center. I, I can't imagine what they cost right now. So mm-hmm. ridiculous, probably not worth it. But I, you know, hey, you got it. Go ahead and get it. Right? Yeah, yes, sir. Hi everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.